Well, Bill, you're, you're talking a lot about new beginnings. You have been orchestrating many connections for people at, at St. Paul's and all of the folks who, who make their way through the front doors Sunday by Sunday. But you're not exactly a newcomer yourself. I saw a video of you during the pandemic welcoming people. But you, look, you looked a little different. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was a pandemic time, and the beard was much fuller than it is now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you had such a, a brightness in that welcome that you were extending, but I think the pandemic was a little tougher than, than maybe some of what we saw in, in that beautiful expression of welcome. What, what, was, what was this season of life like for you? It was, it, you know, I think like everybody, it, it, it brought everything to a halt. You know, I very involved here at St. Paul's and, uh, re you know, regular Sunday attendance and very important part of my life. And then the pandemic hit and it, it stopped. And I remember coming in a few months after it stopped and we were really doing work in terms of video um, to make sure that people can be connected. And we came in to look at some, um, some of the lighting situation and so on. And it was, it was like an abandoned ship. And I, I don't know if you remember, but, but we stopped in Lent and all the Easter stuff, all the literature was still out there. And it was, it was kind of sad. It was kind of hard. But uh, so I, I attended virtually for a while and then that kind of stopped for me. And then, uh, you know, I, to be honest, I, you know, not, I'm not, I not only missed it, but I kind of drifted a little bit from my connection with God. So it was hard. So, yeah, it's good to be slowly getting back. What has been your experience of, of what this season has invited St. Paul's to and, and you to in thinking about where God is showing up for us in the midst of all this change? Right now, where we, where we are? Well, um, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a time of uh, new beginnings. You know, this is a theme that comes up. It really is for me. Like, I'm finding my footing again. And really only over the last few weeks have I started coming back to church regularly and making these connections. And I, I really value the, um, the rhythm of worship, but I also value being in this space. Because I think, for me, you know, God is that space between people. And uh, when we're all in the, the, this great church together, I really feel it. And it, 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 I feel God with us. And so it's very important. And, and we're still in a pandemic in the sense that, um, you know, we're not sharing the, the chalice. And uh, when I uh, am fortunate enough to be a chalice bearer, I really feel that connection in that moment between two people as I pass the chalice down and I'm looking forward to getting back to that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I also, I also. There is something about that being vulnerable with each other, the giving and receiving that connection entails that really reminds us how God is always orchestrating. You know, the life of the Trinity is this relatedness in the very person of God. Yeah. Where the Holy Spirit is inviting that flow of love. And I think the, the experiences I've had, even just being as new as I have been here at St. Paul's, it has been very rich with that kind of energy. And I'm so grateful to you and to all those on the welcome team who helped foster that for folks who are newish like me, who are finding their way in and aren't quite sure maybe how to tap into that relatedness, that energy. Yeah, well, and I just want to follow up and, and, and say part of what I'm looking for in this is this newness. Mm -hmm. You know, there has been change, like things changed over the pandemic. And, you know, uh, I miss Thomas and he was a great preacher and he was a good friend. But two things can be true. I am so excited that you are here. Like, I am so glad that you are here. And that as I'm finding kind of a fresh footing again in my faith, I'm so looking forward to hearing your fresh ideas and your spiritual leadership. And, and so I'm very, very excited that you are here and, and being a part of me in my new beginning here. So I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being a big part of mine. Yesterday I turned to Bill and I was like, hey, do you have a key? He's urging me to get into the room where there's stuff is. <laughs> we rely on each other and it is. It orchestrates fresh possibilities all the time. I'm so grateful to you and to all of the people who you help lead in that spirit of welcome. Thanks for making time for this conversation. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you all for being here.